Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the cube SMP today. I got to get more comfortable. There we go. I'm more comfortable now. What we're going to do today is I want to work on the base a little bit more. Now what I want to do is I want to expand the area over here. I'm actually, let's do this before I forget. I got to move you because we're going to expand this a little bit more and I'm actually really excited to do this. I, I need more space in here. I don't know why I have six item frames, but Mr. Porkchop, you'll go over here for the time being. There you go. That was, I don't remember the pig's name to be honest. Why do I have, did I have two different pigs that I, I forgot. I remember having pigs, but I don't remember their names at all. One was probably Ruben Jr. or something like that. I don't even remember, but we're going to go this way. And the plan is I want to make a further out layer in here where I could do like armor stuff. I can actually move the uh, enchantment table over there. I want to get like a potion room going. I want to do a lot of things over here. I need to get more comfortable again, <laughs> but I want to make a ton more room. Uh, mainly because I'm feeling a little claustrophobic in here and I need some changes around here It feels like the same old same old and I know a lot of you have been commenting that as well And we need to fix that up a little bit So I am gonna be working on this and also just Apparently there's a lot of things going on with the north and south side. <laughs> I I am NOT part of that. I I just heard about this yesterday but apparently like will and grazer or something like that I might not be a hundred percent sure about that have been going over there and blowing things up which is making it a little bit more complicated and apparently someone's been ddosing someone I, I don't know exactly what is happening apparently grazer is savage <laughs> sorry there was we, me and grazer recorded a video yesterday me grazer and poke and grazer was just like h i realized something yesterday or something like that and i'm like what is it grazer i'm savage and it was the most it was it was one of the funniest things i've heard in a very very long time i just was not expecting it at all but i want to make a ton more room over here <clears throat> I think it's just gonna be a, like a little bit of corridor and I want to move this thing right here I don't know what I want to do with it I want to make an easier way up but I don't want it to look ugly I don't like the ladder I don't know what I want I, I'm, I'm very iffy about everything I do I might make a water <gasps> that's what I should do I should make a water way to get down like through here maybe have like a little hole like right there and have that be my way down and up and then maybe even one more up I don't know we could do a lot of things maybe have my way up one more level is through there or something like that there's a lot of options for us i'm excited to start building again i want to make an insane potion uh contraption again that's one of my goals for today um a little bit better than the last one i want to make it so that i just click a button and then it becomes like oh this button if you click this button it makes a fire resistance potion and so on and so forth like that kind of stuff that's what i want to work on and i think i think i can get that done today but it's going to take a lot a lot <laughs> of time so the project is going actually really really well right now uh what was i coming i was coming over here for sea lanterns i don't know if i actually have any of those which would be an issue and i can make it i don't remember how to make them i don't have any in there do god dang it i keep changing these things up i don't mean to go back to normal it's gonna bother me if you don't go back to normal boom um i don't have any sea lanterns i know i can craft them it was this this one i know i could craft them with this stuff i just don't know how um, but here's what it's gonna look like right now. You can see like this little this little area to go very quickly past But this is what it's gonna look like it's gonna be changed up over here um, But I'm on these uh, packed ice things. I'm gonna have what uh, I want it to become so like right here I want it to be a sea lantern and then have a button on top of it And that's gonna be the potion of fire resistance. So I click that and it's all gonna come from a the, the what, what are they called droppers not not droppers the hopper the hoppers. That's it <laughs> the hoppers um, I don't know if I actually have any though, so I will have to create quite a few, but I should have more than enough iron I actually got rid of a lot of my iron. That's another small issue, but we can of course smelt them really quick uh, Go in there take just take my coal, please. Thank you and you go in there as well I don't think I have any more iron. <laughs> I think I'm kind of broke on iron So I might need to go caving a little bit and I'm also not too rich on wood as well, which is kind of unfortunate uh, but if we can make you into this and make you into a hopper really quick, boom, we got three of them. Um, they're going to feed into the hopper here and they're going to bring all the items that we need. Now, this is going to take up a lot. Let's actually just get rid of this for the time being, just so I could get back here very easily. This is going to take up a lot of space and it's going to look kind of weird. I also need, you know what I'm just realizing now? I, I have my brightness all the way up. So... I need to figure out a lighting system. I'm gonna go grab glowstone because we definitely need lighting in here. Easy fixes to lighting. Just hide them underneath the water. Three right there, right there, and right there. That's why you build an odd number so it makes it very, very easy 
to put lighting sources everywhere. <laughs> this is not gonna be the lighting system in here, but I need something for the time being, and I'm just gonna make it go like this, just because it makes it a little bit, this is, you know what, screw it, just go anywhere. <laughs> I just want lighting in here for the time being. It's gonna look ugly, but once I get a floor plan built up, it's gonna look a lot better. Just go right there, right there, there we go. That shouldn't let any mob spawn in here, and I wanna make torches for the back as well. So I'm going to go work on this a little bit more. Like, I'm going to put the torches right there. Uh, I'm going to go work on this for, a, when I say a while, I mean it's going to be a while. It's going to be a long time. It's not going to be done anytime soon. So this is going to be like an all-day project in order to get the potions that I really, really want, which is going to be like invisibility, uh, fire resistance, swiftness, strength, all those. And I'm going to have to get them together to work, and it's going to be resource heavy and time heavy as well. So this ought to be... An interesting feat for me here I was thinking that it was gonna be very complicated but I think I figured out a way to make this work really really easily to be honest I, I wasn't fully convinced by this but let's try this out for a quick second so how this is gonna work is we're gonna have two or three dispensers right here and then to make this thing work I think you have to go from the top if I remember correctly you have to go from the top with a hopper in order for it to work and then we're gonna have Freaking hoppers just go across here. No, wait, yeah, that worked right. And if this should work, um, what we're gonna do is go grab nether wart, because that's what I need. And this one, I need to make another way out now. God dang it. Um, this one is gonna be nether wart, magma cream, and then redstone. So it's a fairly simple one. Some of them are gonna be more complicated than that, which is where I'm probably gonna run into issues. So let's grab more redstone. Uh, go like that so it doesn't bother me. Uh, magma cream should be in here. Uh, I need as much as that as I can get uh, and then the last one is nether wart now I am not sure if I actually have any nether wart here. It does not look like I do. Why do I never have nether wart? Do I, wait hold on I have to have nether wart somewhere Did I oh my god, I'm an idiot. Okay. I moved my nether wart. That's right Okay, and the last thing I need is glass now. So now if I put you in here we're gonna have this. I'm gonna have this one of these chests be blaze powder and the other one be uh, bottles of water and stuff like that. So if we throw you all in there, and now let's make a stepping stone up here just so I have an easy access to this thing. Um, we could just drop it all in here. So uh, first is nether word. I'm not gonna throw all of you in there. I'm gonna throw like that many. <laughs> I didn't have a thing set in mind, so I was just like that as many as I feel like going up to. So let's throw more in there as well, redstone. And this should work, honestly. It should be very simple. Uh, click on you. And, yeah, it goes in the right order. All right. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, to be fair. Boom, and there we go. It is. It was that easy. So we got eight minutes, which is exactly what I want. Now, this isn't the most convenient sized for me, so I might have to make this a little bit wider because, obviously... Um, so this one's able to reach these three. It's not able to reach something that would go over here. So we're going to need to have another uh, set right here as well. So I could get this set up and boom. I d do I have the, the, no, go right there. There we go. I think I do have the droppers on me, right? Yeah. So we just throw more droppers here and this will be our next set that we'll make. So obviously we'll start with the nether ward again. I'm going to have to go farm a ton of those. And let's go figure out which one we're going to do next. Actually, I'm just going to finish this because this is so easy to me now. It makes, it makes total sense and is just very, very simple. And I need to make this not look as ugly. Just this looks weird. Let's throw like a magma block right here. And just try and surround it with this stuff just so it doesn't look weird. We are just about done in here. Or at least this project part of it. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the hell I was about to say. Um, I'm going to have this go actually one more out. Because I want this all to come together. And oh, do I have any more of those blocks? Okay, I'm going to have it go one more out on each side and have those, uh, is it magma blocks? Is that what they're called? I uh, go in here. Yeah, magma blocks. I'm going to have these connect at the very bottom, and I think it's going to look kind of cool. Um, and then we also, I we, we are going to go over to my mushroom base, and we are going to go to, I like that. I like that a lot. It looks kind of cool. Um, we're going to go to my mushroom base, and we are going to uh, go to the sea temple that's right next to it and grab more sea lanterns, because I'm in desperate need of them, because this is just... I don't have any sea lanterns. I don't know where all my... Actually, you know what? 
My sea lanterns might actually be at my mushroom base. That's where they probably are. Oh, I'm a genius. You guys thought I was so dumb for the longest time. No, secretly, I'm the smartest person ever and just leave my stuff very, very disorganized. Very disorganized. Ah, uh, there are my two little animals. Which one? You're Pippin and we have Curly, I think is what I called you. Pippin, part of Team Yellow and Curly. Why is Pippin part of Team Yellow but Curly isn't? Curly... You gotta join the team soon, at least. Uh, but let's see if we actually have any in here. If not, we have we have some good stuff. Yes! I might actually still go grab more because I there's quartz in here too. There's obsidian. Why don't I ever? I need to come back over here and finish this base too. It's just a giant wall again of mine. God dang it. <laughs> okay, so next episode, I think we're gonna work on this base because I want to start separating them. The reason why I actually did this base was not because like I I wanted like a place to put stuff or anything like that. I I wanted an area that I could say is beautiful and is my own. So like once the season is done, I'm not saying that the season's coming to a close anytime soon. But once the season is done, I want to like be able to look back and be like, "Oh my god, I did a fantastic job on this build." And everyone can come to it and see like how pretty it is and all that kind of stuff. That's what I want to do. Is that a huge uh priority of mine right now? No, no, it's not. But in the future, I really want to get that thing done and make sure that we have it. Um, this, the sea temple has already been taken apart, but I just want to grab as many sea lanterns as possible. But I want to get your guys' opinion on that. How should I, uh, what's the correct way to say this? Where should I put that on my list of to-do things? Like, priority list. There we go. That's what I'm trying to think of. Like, should that be on the top? Should it be on the lower end? Or should that just be, like, a project that I work on every few days, maybe off camera or something like that? Or should I try prioritizing it for one or two episodes every once in a while? And just see how much we could get done with it. Because, you know, I like that base. I think it looks pretty. I've never built in a, a mushroom. I keep wanting to say mushroom. I apologize for that. But it's just a habit of mine. I've never built in one of them before. So it's really cool that I actually get to start building on there. Um, I, where's the sea lanterns at? Yo, who's I, I stole like all the sea lanterns in here. I'm leaving myself none of them. Um, but I do want to continue working on that. Hopefully next episode. And then maybe we'll take a break from it for a little while or something like that. Um, but I want to get a lot of it done at least. I actually love how this is looking. I really do. This is up here because there's like a little cave thing in here. I didn't want to need like zombies or something coming down here while I'm AFKing. Uh, by any small chance or whatever it would be. But we have the fire resistance potion. So we know that that stuff is working. I'm also going to keep any extra potions that I have in this chest. And this chest has blaze powder for the uh, to fuel this thing. And then we have redstone and glowstone just in case we want to change it up. Um, but as you can see, we have the water bottles here, so let's grab three, and we're gonna test out something new. We're gonna test out the potion of invisibility and see how this works. So, it should go nether wart, golden carrot, uh, what's the, uh, the fermented spider eye. So, golden carrot, fermented spider eye, and nether wart, so this should make it. Now, I have three in each of these, so the reason why I chose the potion of invisibility is because I have three droppers, and now, as you can see, it's just gonna be a potion of invisibility for three minutes, which is not... What I want, which is the reason why, actually I already have glow, or redstone in my inventory, which is the reason why I have that stuff in there just in case. So as you can see now, awkward potion, and now I think it becomes like a, uh, what's the name of that thing? The, the, where you see better underwater? Night vision. Night vision potion. It should become that. And then it becomes the invisible. I don't know how that works, how you go from having very good eyesight to having, <laughs> to being invisible. I don't quite get it, but it still works the same. Um, I think everything else is set up. We'll try the potion of strength next. This is going to be a straight... All of these are going to be the first tier one with uh, eight minutes. So I could change that. Like I said, I have the glowstone here. But I have limited amounts of glowstone. So I want it to be automatic in that way. And it gives me time to actually like change what's going on here in potion of invisibility. And now it's going to be eight minutes long. So if I want to change the potion of strength, we'll actually get that one going next after... I think we could do it now. Right? There's nothing else in there. So potion of strength. And it should be one, two, three, nether wart, blaze powder and redstone oh no okay so that did mess up a little bit i didn't even realize that would happen okay so as you can see now we have that going for us we have the potion of invisibility which is very very nice i need extras amounts of that just in case um we need to grab three more wati botties and <laughs> walti baltis uh put them in there and now we can put the redstone back in, and this will give us a strength potion for eight minutes. And there we go, strength for eight minutes. So this is always going to be good to have. It's very, very simple, and most of the time I don't even have to worry about it. I just click a button and it just goes. It's very, very easy. I love it. It looks cool as well. It looks like I'm starting to actually do, like, an evil layer again. I think I've had an evil layer, like, every season so far. But I don't know if this counts as an evil layer, but let's fix this because it's kind of bothering me a little bit. We'll put you, like, right there. 
Boom, boom, boom. Okay, now it's not looking as weird. But yeah, now we're going to make two different rooms. We're going to have it go that way and that way. But I think we'll worry about that another time. Right now, what I want to go do is I want to go talk to Grazer and Will. But I can't really go over to their side right now because there's three of them on. I don't know why Strubber's on instead of Strub. That doesn't make much sense to me. Um, but I want to go over to their side and take a look at what they did and I want to question Grazer and Will about it because I think they were the ones that did it. I'm about to log on to the server and I, there's four or five people on and it's Straub, Isaac, Tibsy, and Ant. I don't know what's going to happen. I think I'm still, I don't know where I am. I'm down here. I don't know what they're doing but I feel like they're on our side doing something. Okay so we're very close to spawn and I don't know if that's what they're doing. The potion that I just drank is fire resistance, just in case they decide- Well, they're not allowed to attack me, so they shouldn't be attacking me, because we're on our side right now. But, I, I think that's D-Field's build. D-Field has been building, like, a church or something up here. I, I don't know up here, but he's been building it around here. I'm, I'm just nervous. I don't know where they are. I'm checking this out in case they actually decided to build this. I doubt that they would build this out of anything. If anything, they would, like, destroy something. Let's take a look. Is it gonna be D-Field's? What does it say? Mr. Mish's redstone shop? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay, that's the least- That's the last thing I actually expected from this. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Mr. Mitch is one of a kind. Alright, I don't see anyone. Those are all dead horses. I don't think they're on our side, or at least they're not over here. But we can't- We can't be too careful. We gotta make sure we know where they all- or They are at all points, and if they're on our side, we have to know. Because if they are- that we're gonna have to get some reinforcements because it's gonna be a 1v4 and that's not happening. Well, Straub, I don't even- I don't even know what Strubber's doing on here. The cows are dead again, that's great news. Do I see any name tags? No, no name tags. That doesn't- that doesn't mean they're not on our side because they might be out of the render chunks, but that means that they're at least shifting, so they're not- they're probably not doing anything. Like, I'm expecting to see something just blown up, to be honest, because that's what- oh, Private Fearless left. I'm expecting to see something just blown up because that's what, like, Grazer and Will did to them. I want to ask Grazer and Will about this because I'm very concerned about the whole thing. Grazer, Will, what the hell did you guys do to them? Uh, okay. okay, Will, I'll let uh, you handle this one. I knew you yeah. blew you up something. You want me to handle this one? <laughs> what did yeah, you guys do handle, and why? You handle your part and I'll handle my okay. part. <laughs> alright, so what it was, Grazer pulled me into his app and he's like, alright, well, I want to blow something up on South Side, And I was like, dude, I was going to do the same... <laughs> So we went over there and we were like, you gotta try and trigger a war somehow. And it looks like it might be working, but what I did, I blew up the Southside logo in the middle of the arena. And Grace, what did you do? And so what I did is, when together as a team, we wiped out all their crops, killed all their animals, and killed some That's of their horses. That's what happened horses. to the cows! The cows are <laughs> gone now too! No, Wait, on our, our side? Cows are gone? On our side, yeah. Oh, oh they that got could have been then. them, or it could have been the glitch, who knows. But when we killed theirs, there was only like two animals, but we wiped out other crops, and we blew a hole into one of their, their walls. So we No, that of... wasn't we, that was you. That was That me, was yeah. you and no, Meg, that was right? Megan, yeah, Megan. Yeah, and <laughs> you and Megan. <laughs> they so, kept yeah. us some chickens, at least. That's all we got for us right now. <laughs> I mean, all they had was two chickens and, like, Wait, four but, horses. But you said they were all on right now. We have to keep a con- I don't want to log Strub, in, because that might stop Isaac, what they're doing. Isaac, and Ant are on right now. And that's why I'm, like, at spawn, because I'm terrified that something's going to happen. Because if they yeah. come over here, they can't attack me. They, they... No, exactly. I'm thinking maybe. It oh, would be but we bend the rules, to... so they'll probably bend the rules and attack you. Yeah. So be careful. Why, yeah. why am I being brought into this? Because <laughs> you're the only one on right now. Do you want us to log in and just. No, brute no, no, no. It? Well, well, well. Bad, bad, bad. Don't log bad? in because we want them to attack. If we log in, oh, it can true, halt true, true. any attacks that they try true, to true, do. True. Wait, so we we'll want them to secret. attack? Why do we want them to attack? Because then we can finally war. start a war. As oh, soon as they attack, you... yeah. Okay, that's true. I kind of <laughs> oh. want to start a war now. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, right. That's it's the like whole we reason we war. even did any of the the whole like the attacks is to try we to get need the war. The war. Yeah. It has to happen. All right. Well, you guys are jerks. <laughs> yeah. <we are>. <laughs> <laughs> if I oh, die because of your crap, I swear to God. I'll give you another elytra. It'll be the one you got for me. <laughs> yeah, dude, I have, okay, like, the elytra doesn't one. just make up for that, Grazer. <laughs> Well, you have full prop four. It's not like you're actually gonna die. Chill out. There's four hey, of you're them. In <laughs> you're indestructible, at least to me. Yeah, to you, <laughs> not four of them. <laughs> I love you, Rach. Shut up. Alright guys, I'm still terrified to go anywhere away from spawn because that's the last thing I want to have happen is them attack us. Especially with just me on. I'm gonna log- I don't know if I want to log off yet or not. 
Because if I log off, the, all they could do is, like, damage our spawn. If I'm still on, they could kill me and then damage our spawn. Because even if... Okay, it's a 1v4. They have full prod 4 armor. The best I could do is probably kill one. If I'm lucky, maybe two. But they're all better PvPers than me, so likely one. Maybe Straub I could kill because he has lag issues. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Get out of here. <gasps> you knuckleheads.